Now, we move on to our next speaker, who's April Ashley. April is a member, a black member of the Unison uh, National Executive, but she's not speaking today as a member of Unison. If she would, she'd be speaking in a personal capacity, as usual. But she's come to speak today about another issue, and that is the issue of the South African miners. April, April, has been, April has been involved for as long as I can remember with the struggles of the South African workers. Many years ago, she was involved in the struggle against apartheid itself. Now we're faced with a different set of circumstances, but April is still there battling. She's going to explain us what's going on. I'd like to thank the NSSN for inviting me to speak on this. And we're appealing, really, for solidarity with the striking Americana mine workers. As many of, many of you know, 34 mine workers were shot dead in South Africa while on strike at Maricana Platinum Mine uh, last month, owned by a Lomin uh, a mine bosses, a British uh, company. The South African press called it a massacre, reminiscent of the worst of the apartheid massacres. Many of the workers were shot in the back as they fled from the police. Now this has stunned, really, the whole of South Africa, who can't believe, the South African workers, who can't believe this could happen under an ANC government. 20 years after the supposed end of apartheid, a government that they have fought and uh, died for. Now there have been many protests around the world, and the National Shop Steward Network actually called two uh, protests here in London, and there's still been protests in Nigeria and in Ireland. Um, against uh, you know, the brutality and against the killings. And outrageously, and really shamefully, the ANC government had jailed nearly 300 workers for murder and using the old apartheid laws of common purpose. But such was the outrage that uh, the workers have now been released. But it's clear that the police under the Zuma government has been acting as a private security agency for the mining bosses. Loaming mine owners and the government are acting hand in hand, trying to drown the strike in blood. But the miners are standing firm. This is the fourth week of the strike and thousands have been on protest demonstrations against the killing. And all they're striking is for a living wage of uh, 12,500 rand, just about 900 pounds. You can see mine workers in South Africa are again at the forefront of the battle for better living conditions as they were under the uh, apartheid era. But the leadership of uh, the strikers are a new left-wing uh, union, the Association of Mine Workers and Construction Union. They're a small union have broken off from the NUM, which is the biggest uh, mine workers union in South Africa, but it's calling for solidarity between both the unions. But the AMCU, the smaller union, really has acted as a lever for the, for, for the strike for all the mine workers, and all the mine workers are in the strike together now. But unfortunately, the ANC government have moved to the right and ha is in bed really with uh, uh, Lomin, you know, like, you know, Zuma, you know, he goes to bed with a lot of people in the, uh, South Africa. <laughs> but uh, the British-based company are trying to make the workers pay for, you know, the, e the global economic crisis, because the platinum um, uh, prices has crashed because of the recession. And so what I'm appealing to today is really that we need to continue our protest actions following the best traditions of uh, the anti-apartheid struggle, and many people have been involved in it, and some people may not have been alive when uh, you know, the apartheid struggles uh, were going on. But the South African workers you know, know that the world is watching what's happening, and uh, the strikes are moving to other mining sectors. And I think the America and the miners have inspired you know, all workers, and many other unions are now calling 
for a, a, a wage of uh, 12,500 uh, rand. That's going to be the wage claim for a lot of workers now. Now, the loaning bosses say they can't afford to pay the workers a living wage and uh, they may have to close the mines. But we're saying you have to nationalise the mines to give uh, workers in South Africa you know, a good wage. So we're calling on people here to continue the protest actions, to write in to the embassies, to continue the campaign for solidarity with the South African mine workers.